Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are here on day two of Storybrooke. We're gonna jump right in today and see what we have in store. Our very first day we didn't really do much admittedly so today we're here with Tom Nook to see what other things we've got going on. Also apologies for no face cam in this video but it is a no bones day so I'm taking my little break. We might as well have Isabel already because Tom Nook has nothing to report today. This morning on my daily walk I spotted a mushroom. And then he's like, and I ate it and now everything is green. I want you all to enjoy fall the DIY way. Wait, do we not get a DIY? Isabel gives us a DIY. What the heck? I feel robbed. I logged into Animal Crossing on my other Switch at the start of November and Isabel gave me the mushroom wreath DIY. But we don't get it. This Oh wait, because because we don't have DIYs unlocked yet. <laughs> I need to actually use my brain for like at least a split second before I start spouting off accusations. Who are you? Tommy? Okay. No, I don't I don't want to I don't want to talk to you right now. Look. I'm I'm sorry about the money. Okay? I'm really sorry about the money, but I just I can't do this right now. I I got to go. All right. Our first step into resident services. I kind of just want to unlock DIYs really quick. Honestly, I just want to unlock everything as fast as possible. Ah, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench, he says, after I just simply walk two steps over to it. All right, the infamous five tree branches. I, I want to say I have some in my inventory. Oh, I have four. I literally have four. That was almost, that was almost so swag. Literally, just give me one, one branch. Oh, mushroom. Okay, I literally stepped out for a moment, a literal second to go get a tree branch and you're pulling out a drain you're, what sir we have a workshop to do okay yeah put shove that back in your pocket sounds good i have a few common diy recipes for you free of charge naturally he just sent me a free discord nitro scam link all right speaking of fishing i'm no master angler but perhaps i can give you a few tips yeah sure i'd love to hear it from the master I've seen you catch so many fish all the time. Mm-hmm. Timmy, you're so cute with your little scarf. What do you have for sale? I love to support small businesses. I'll buy... You know what? He has a handmade candle. If I had the money to afford this, I would buy it from you. And we got all of our tools and stuff. I do want to get a wetsuit pretty soon. And I want to get these DIYs. So let's go try to make some bells super quick. I need to go and catch stuff so we can get the museum as well. All right, so bells and creatures and stuff. Let's do it. So bottom line right now is literally just strip your island of its natural resources. Um, don't leave anything for anyone. Your villagers, if they can starve, grab all your apples, grab all the weeds, grab all the firewood. They don't need it because if they really did, they would just uh, go do it themselves. See, Rod is over here fishing for tonight's dinner, for his own dinner. He doesn't need me. He doesn't need these apples. So you're free to take them all and sell them to Tibby for a profit. Let me also grab some fish and stuff so we can start unlocking blathers because the sooner that we do that, the better. First fish at the island. We got a horse mackerel. Oh my god, wait. A horse mackerel? On our farm core island? It's meant to be. It's truly meant to be. Next fish. We got a little baby one. I'm... I'm so bad at this game. Someone take my switch away from me. And there's literally a fish right here where Rod is fishing. Dude, I'm so sorry, but... I'm gonna steal this from you. Don't look at me like that. Wait, a boot? On our farm core island? Another horse mackerel. Another horse mackerel. Uh, is, is horse mackerel the new sea bass? Because, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be mad. There's a balloon in the distance, but I don't have a slingshot yet. F in the chat for balloon. You will be missed by me because i don't have a slingshot okay we got an anchovy i don't think i've ever tried anchovies in my whole life the only fish that i really like are like salmon tuna tilapia cod stuff like that i don't really like shrimp or crab that much based off of that do you guys think that i would like anchovies okay so after all of that we got a whole bunch of juicy apples we got three fish and we're gonna sell these shells so let's go and turn all of this in. Take all of my fruit and take these shells. Here you go. And we just got 7,000 bells from that. So now I can use that to support Timmy's small business and buy his candle. Only 600 bells. What a steal. And this is a handmade organic soy lavender candle. Thank you so much, Timmy. I'm so excited to support you. I'm going to post a pic of this on Insta, okay? An old friend of mine runs a museum. I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would I be okay with that? I mean... 
It's not really up to me. It's up to the horse mackerel. I promise I'll take extra good care of your horse mackerel. I don't see a fish tank anywhere. You're gonna you're gonna run filtered water? I don't know about this. I don't know about I don't know, Tom. Okay, now here's the anchovy. You can slap this on your slice of pizza when you order from Domino's next time. Oh, we got some flower seeds. Yay! So I guess that means that roses are the native flower to this island, which is very exciting. I haven't had roses before. I've had cosmos and I think it's only been cosmos. Okay, so I want to say that you have to donate five creatures or show Tom Nook five creatures before he gets started with blathers, like truly. So I'm just gonna go and get some more stuff. Actually, we have enough money to go buy the wetsuit, which I was talking about earlier. And it's a little pricey, but I think that would be a good investment right now. Hey babe, I'm back again. Your small business is really thriving. I'm so happy for you. I loved my candle so much. It smells so good. The hubby really likes it too. And you know how hard it is to get him to like one of my candles. <laughs> so I hear you have handcrafted wetsuits now. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up. So exciting. I'm so happy for you, babe. Okay, it's 3,000 bells, which is half of the money that I have to my name right now. But trust me, this is going to be so worth it because with this, we can access the other side of the river, like the rest of the islands that we're blocked off from right now because we don't have the vaulting pole yet. And we can just dive for sea creatures right away. And those, I want to say those sell for a decent amount of money. I don't really know. I don't really dive too much, but... That's access to like a whole other area of creatures and stuff. So let's go ahead and change into that. There we go. Oh, and I've got some little striped socks on. All right, let's take a running leap and jump right in. Oh, that was so fun. But while we're here, how is everyone doing? I hope you guys are holding up well this winter slash holiday season. I hope you guys are excited for the updates. Right now while I'm recording this, it's the second and the direct is in three days. Wow, I haven't even seen this before. I haven't even seen this creature in Animal Crossing. Wow, really goes to show how little I dive. But yeah, I'm very, very excited. And I also wanted to thank you guys. One of my videos actually reached a million views. It's my villager hunting frog edition, which is a villager hunting video I made so long ago. But slowly it's just been accumulating views. For some reason, you guys really like that video, even though it sucks. So that is really 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 cool and that has been one of my goals to have a video that reaches a million views and we hit it so thank you to everyone who's watched that video it's just a really awesome milestone that i honestly never expected to reach but we did it and that is the power of the froggy army so thank you guys and we're also getting nook miles for getting all of these deep sea creatures so that is just another added benefit of getting the wetsuit literally right off the bat I feel like the wetsuit is literally like most beneficial right in the start of the game. A little little hot take, but if you just started, definitely invest in a wetsuit. But okay, our inventory is full, so I'm gonna head on back. I'm on the other side of the island that I didn't have access to before. And actually, I thought we had roses, but we actually have mums, which honestly is even better. I feel like they're like the most like rustic or like rough looking flower. Sorry, mums. I do want to collect some of these fruits while I'm over here. So I'm going to place Timmy's um, organic handmade candle on the floor so just to free up an inventory slot so we can at least grab at least a stack. I just come bursting in, soaking wet from the ocean with freaking barnacles and like snails in my pockets and just like, hello. Hi, Tom. I got creatures. The deep sea creatures don't count? I thought they counted to give the Tom Nook. Oh no. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I mean, at least we can still sell them. Oh, thank you for that watering can DIY. Very much appreciated. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free, but you've collected creatures for me, Raven. So this is just part of island give and take. I wonder who is Tom Nook's accountant? What poor soul has to deal with all of this? Someone's calling. Blathers, where the heck have you been, Loka? Okay, so Blathers wants to set up shop. And since we've done so much scouting and collecting already, we're just gonna help find a spot. It's crazy that like the lifelong friend of Blathers, you know, our dear friend Tom Nook, who has known Blathers arguably far longer than me and knows his tastes and his preferences. He doesn't want to set up the tent. He doesn't want to pick a location. Instead, he gives the manual labor to me. I'm not surprised at all. Like this was expected behavior, but I don't know. It just, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta talk about it. You just gotta complain a little bit. All right. I think I'm going to stick Blathers on the beach over here. This is the spot. 
and since he is going to come relatively soon and I have all these creatures, I'm going to save one of each, you know, start up the little pile for him. So there we go. There's those. Now I'm going to take my wetsuit and I'm going to go to the other side of the island again. Also can't forget to shake your trees. This is a crucial step in the beginning because you can get items and you can get extra money. So don't forget to shake your trees. Oh, oh, we also get acorns, I think. Is that an acorn? Yes, it was. Okay, another full inventory of mostly stuff to sell. I really need to put these mushrooms somewhere else because they're taking up three precious slots that I should be using for other stuff. By the way, you are saving up Nook Miles, right? <laughs> Tom is like, look, the update is dropping on the 5th and I am not going to be here to hold your hand when you come crying that you don't have enough Nook Miles to redeem all of the new stuff. All right, going to give some of my extra stuff to Timmy. And there we go. We made... 5,000, almost 6,000 bells. Okay, so Tom Nook basically said to start paying off my loan. Fine, I'll do it. I forget how much it is, but we'll go rack up some bells and miles. We just gotta do a little bit of grinding, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm scared. This is our first wasp. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Please. Oh, we're safe. And now we've racked up 3,200 Nook Miles. So let me double check how many Nook Miles we have to give him again. 5,000 miles. Okay, we're more than halfway there, which is pretty good. I feel like we could actually pay it off today if we try really hard. Let me actually grab those DIYs from Timmy that I was talking about. Hello, boss babe. I'm here again. I'm a repeat customer. Um, if you could throw in a freebie sticker this time, that would actually be great. Thanks. Okay, so now we have a nice broad selection of DIYs. Most importantly, this hay bed DIY, which is going to be very, very important. So another tip that I have for you, my number one top tip for getting to three stars quickly, literally place every single item that you find on your island. Make an effort to make extra ones too. The hay bed is really good because it just takes weeds. So you can go farm weeds and you can make a bunch of hay beds and you can also make leaf umbrellas whenever you unlock that recipe. And you just put these bad boys all over your island and get that whatever item score up and you will be on your way to three stars as fast as heck <laughs> so because i do have a couple of items i'm gonna go ahead and place them down randomly let's also hit rocks because i'm hoping this will also give miles we did not get enough miles this was not worth it i'm never hitting a rock ever again let's make the rest of our tools that we need here let's make this little watering can so we can give our thirsty plants a little bit of i don't know gatorade is like is gatorade good for plants it has like electrolytes right that should be good for plants. That sounds like very healthy and nutritious. Let's see what we got in Nook Shopping. Oh, this is a cute little hat. I'm gonna order this until I can get my beret. There we go. And now we have 5,250 miles, which means we can pay off our first loan. Mr. Nook, I have the best, the bestest news for you. There we go. Your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Let me be more specific. How is the tent treating you? Um. I'm not a tent person. I'm sorry. I need my farm. I need my little barn. I, I would like a house. A house would be very nice. That would be that would be great. I want to sleep in an actual bed. That would be really nice. And we get to pick a roof color. Red, pink, yellow, black. And we have four other options. We also have blue, aqua, green, and purple. I think I'm going to go with red. I'm just going to go with classic, classic red. And now we just got Nook Miles Plus! Yes! We're unlocking so much today. I feel like this has been such a productive day of Animal Crossing on Storybrooke. And we even got more miles. Oh my goodness. Really? Now I get Catch a Horse Mackerel? Where was this earlier? From me and from Tommy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check my links down below in the description for merch, my social medias, all that jazz, my Discord server. I hope you had a fun time with me here today. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.